hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you are new here welcome i'm so excited to be making this video i'm always excited to be making my videos so in this video i'll be giving you tips on how to start with a first class in your first year and this is coming from somebody who actually started with a first class and by the grace of god is also still on a first class at the moment so my name is isioma ojeme i film about faith relationship matters academic matters and you know life in general everything that inspires you to be a better person i also put out videos on christian weddings you can just check out my content if you like what you see then do click on the subscribe button below so that i'm a student of war university 300 level communication arts and i really love my course of study let's jump right into what we have for this video without further ado so your 100 level on your first year in university in a tertiary institution is a very sensitive and strategic year it's a year that you really want to be clear on what you want and that takes me to my first point which is the fact that you need to be clear on what you want to graduate with even in your first year most of the time people who graduate with a first class actually see it from the beginning from the first year they enter school even if maybe late last last 200 level they start working towards it but you hardly see somebody who 100 level 200 level 300 level 400 level it's not when they when it's time for them to graduate they will now see first class and they're like ah. it doesn't work that way the truth of the matter is first class is usually prepared for not everybody wants to graduate with the first class i hope you know that like my brother he graduated from physics and solar energy 2018 boring university and when he was entering in 2014 he told me that he did not want to graduate with the first class he wanted to graduate with a 2-1 and guess what that's exactly what he graduated with so you need to be clear on what you want to graduate with even in your first year the second advice i would give to you is that you need to observe your courses and the lecturers i did that a lot i had this particular lecturer who was very stern come to class early he knew virtually everybody like he just needed two three weeks to actually know everybody even if he did not know you by face he would know your son name and then just call you in class to answer questions so many people were scared of him but i always stayed in the front in that class and every of my other classes because that, that was like a strategy for me to remain focused i never sat at the back in class just so you know you can actually adopt that especially when you know that this is a course that if you sit at the back and you get distracted you will not get easily so sitting at the front is very very you know important so i would stay at the front i would observe him he would ask questions in class and by doing so i was able to decipher the kind of questions he would bring out in exam by the grace of god so observe these lecturers observe your courses what kind of courses are you offering i know that in 100 level you might not have the luxury to choose elective courses because they might just put it automatically for you but as time goes on i would say that you need to also be sensitive while choosing your elective courses when you see your course outline note the courses that you are likely to find difficult at least by attending the first three classes of a particular course you should be able to tell the course that you might find difficult or a course that's complex so when you find that course or those courses start reading them early in the semester a one unit course can be read two weeks to the exam and you still make an a i've done that many times where i read maybe one gst or one gl course i don't put the note until like two three weeks to the exam or even sometimes two three days to the exam you know understand your courses the diversity the complexity of each of your courses so the ones that you know that oh my this one na uh, na uh, fire fire start early in the semester get all the materials you need to get read why i explored a lot of things i did not limit myself sorry my second semester 100 level that was when i eventually entered this library you are seeing me in I did not use the library throughout my first semester 100 level and i had my best result yet by the grace of god and to the glory of god what am i saying in essence understand the peculiarity of your course of study the third thing you can do to actually make a first class in your first year is that you need to select your electives wisely i said something in my second point which was the fact that when you come into 100 level they might just give you your electives automatically but i think in your second semester you might have the privilege to choose your electives you need to consider some things before choosing your electives in 100 level your electives are borrowed courses simply put courses that might not or may or may not be directly related to your course of study and not your core course for example if you're studying biochemistry an elective would be a general course like use of english so what are some of the things you should consider before choosing an elective number one your interest if you are not interested in that particular course as much as possible try to avoid it except you cannot help it 
The second thing is you have to consider the lecturer. There are times you're even interested in the course, but your predecessors or the people that have gone ahead of you or even people taking that course will tell you that this lecturer doesn't this, this, this. Although there's a balance to it, don't let that discourage you and say because of that, you will not take a particular course. Like for example, there was an entrepreneurship course that I took in my 200 level um, events management. Before taking that course, I heard things like the lecturer is this, the lecturer is strict, this and that, his marking is this. I said I wanted to do the course. I took the course and I still made my A by the grace of God. So in as much as yes, you want to consider how the lecturer is, don't let that discourage you. If you know that you are truly determined to give all it takes, then please go for it, provided it's still within ju the jurisdiction of your interest. The next thing you need to consider is how the semester is. Is it a choked up semester or is it a semester that, you know, is just chilled and all? If you know that activities are choking your neck in that semester, you have so many responsibilities aside your academics. For example, you are in probably one or two leadership positions and you might not have time to be reading that particular course every day or as consistently as you will need to read, read it for you to understand it. Then please, you might want to choose a less complex course. So that is another criteria to consider before choosing an elective. The next criteria you also want to consider before choosing an elective is the relevance of that course to your course of study. 200 so, level second semester i had the opportunity to choose an elective from sociology i didn't want to take any course for music or theater art and sociology just seemed right i i actually researched a bit on sociology and i saw okay it would give me more exposure into research and things like that and i went for it and to the glory of god i also made an a in that course and the last thing i would emphasize for the criteria for choosing an elective is your brain what can your brain carry? Of course, we are intelligent people. Nobody is dull. I don't believe that. But you need to consider the capacity of your brain per time for a particular course. Be honest with yourself. Can your head carry this course, especially in that particular semester? Every semester comes with its own palaver. Wait, my brain plus how the semester is. You bring it together and you get your answer. If you're able to take the course, beautiful. If not, please switch to a less stressful and complex course. So that is that about selecting your electives wisely. The next thing you need to do in order to make a first class in your first year, of course, the goal is to also graduate with a first class, but at least for a start, since your first year is the strategic and sensitive year, is that you need to be efficient and effective in submitting your assignments. See, I don't for any reason joke with my assignments because I know that tests and examinations come with so much pressure. And so when I'm giving an assignment, I feel like it's an opportunity to just make an aim. So I put in all the work. If you're in a course, in a practical course like mine, where you have to research, you have to write, you have to present and do all that stuff. Or yours might be, be experiment, laboratory work. Please don't joke with it assignments are very very important and some lecturers are so good that they don't even give you tests so that they don't put you under that pressure so to say and they just give you an assignment and you still joke with it please take your assignment seriously i keep saying this your 100 level is a very strategic and sensitive year it is a year where you can have easy access to a first class if you know what you're doing so take advantage of your assignment take advantage of your presentation you need to start studying early in the semester especially when you know you have courses that are deep start studying early in the semester so that you don't have to work under pressure that you need to cut off all distractions as much as possible not everybody wants a first class not everybody will graduate the first class and it's fine just depending on what you want but if you really say you want a first class then you must be willing to cut off distractions distractions can come from your friendships your relationships your activities Cut off all distractions by setting your priorities right. Just be able to identify the source of that distraction or those distractions and cut them off as much as you can to gain all the focus you can get. See, I'm currently in 300 level. And whenever people ask me, how is 300 level? I always tell them this, 300 level is the level that I am grateful for my 100 level. First second semester especially first semester do you know why because through the level is a level i was not really able to give my best let me say yes i know i did not give my best i mean first semester has passed but compared to my 100 level i did not read that much i struggled to balance a lot of things i became an executive or i've become an executive i have responsibilities compared to my 100 level when it was just my academics and nothing more 
Do you get? So I'm grateful that I took advantage of that period, built my CGPA to the best of my ability, and now I can still rely on the first class that I've already built, not having to worry about the fact that you know, I have responsibilities here and there. So, cut off all distractions. If you have the chance, give it your best because a time will come where you might not really have the luxury you have now. And this video is specifically for 100 level students because I know that 100 level is a time where you're just getting in and really it's not the time you want to carry so many responsibilities on your head. So, cut off as many distractions as you so can. You need to understand your course of study. Like I said, there was a time I did not go to the library throughout the whole semester and I still had a 4.82. So you have to understand your course, you have to understand yourself, what works for you and what doesn't. Now, the issue of going to library might not work for everybody. I always tell people in my hostel, not everybody will be a library person. So don't feel bad when your friends are going to the library and you know that the library doesn't work for you. You can read in your room. If you know that you are more productive reading in your room, please do that. Yours might be in the class, yours might be even in chapel if you're in a private school or anywhere that works for you, just do it. You don't have to go to the library like I am now. In fact, I didn't even come to the library to make to read or anything. I'm done with my exams. I actually came to make this video <laughs> in the library. And then night reading. Are you a daytime reader? Are you a night reader? What works for you? There are times that my friends, my roommates are stretching overnight and all I have to do is just watch one or two YouTube videos. I'm not trying to say that my course is beans or my course is... A course that you have to sleep on the floor my course is actually a lot but i have come to understand it so well that i don't have to struggle when it comes to reading when it comes to preparing for exams and by the grace of god i, I love this course so much so even when i don't stretch god still helps me that i know it so well and i just always get to write during the exam to the glory of god i thank god for that dimension of god that is the wisdom and the understanding dimension of god right so please understand your course understand yourself how well you know that course of study is something that will guide your reading habit or your reading patterns if it's a course that you are very sound in you might want to relax and be like okay but if it's a course that you know oh be humble go and ask questions go and read don't be afraid to ask questions don't be afraid to meet your classmates don't be, don't be proud see 100 level or any other level it's not even the time you want to be proud if you don't know something ask so please be wise and i pray that even as you are commencing your 100 level your first year god will give you your heart desires most of all don't forget god that's the last point put god first put god first put god first in every single thing you do back it up with prayers don't be that person that reads and reads and reads and forgets god so while you work it also faith it there's a place for trusting god which is really underrated in our world today there's a place for prayers there's a place there's a place for just committing everything in the hands of god even when an exam or a test doesn't go well it's a place for trusting God that everything would be fine. And God is a God that perfects everything. God is a God of redemption. So at no point should you leave him out of the equation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so please put God first. And I see God helping you in the name of Jesus. If you're a first year student watching this, my heart goes out to you. I love you so much. And I wish you all the best in your academic journey, in your tertiary institution. And I pray that God who has kept me this far will keep you this far in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you actually found helpful. If you have other tips that you would recommend for a 100 level student or even you as a 100 level student, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching. See you in the very next video. Bye! And that takes me to my third point, which is...